Hi Fusion Designers! This video is about a new version of Rax and Gears Maker, which should be available at Autodesk App Store soon. All links will be available under the video. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Save, Load and Reset buttons have been moved from bottom of the form into the menu section. This section also contains modes of preview, with or without description, and checkbox for add joints or not. In the chamfer section now, there are buttons instead of checkbox. Fields have better descriptions on tool clips. There are also an estimated time calculated based on last 100 runs. When you run the plugin for the first time, there will be no information about the time, because there is no statistics file yet. Estimated time is rounded up to first 10 seconds. In the new version it is finally possible to cancel the process by clicking the button on the progress window. Tooth shape option for rack, normal or hop tool has been removed. In the case of tooth different than straight, you can now choose the normal or axial system. As I mentioned in the previous video about the update of planetary gears, still in review so not in the store yet, the biggest change is the better algorithm for cutting tooth's profile, no matter tooth has undercut or not. According to this, root fillet radius for gear on rack is no longer available, and the only thing to set is the clearance factor. Another improvement is the preview, which will let to see how big the model will be. It only displays course model of gear as a cylinder and rack as a cuboid, but it's enough to see most important dimensions. In addition to this, there are text with dimensions and bold circle and line. Bold ring represents working pitch diameter in the case of gear and thin rings root and outside diameters. Bold line on the rack shows the working pitch line. Third mode of preview shows basic parameters for the set. Unfortunately, preview can be overlapped by existing bodies, but now it cannot be done in an effective way. Let's prepare some sample rack and gear. You probably want to check its behavior in motion. For making this faster, there is an option for adding joints automatically. The only thing is to click the checkbox Add Joints. Both gear and rack component contains all parameters and motion links formulas in their descriptions. For example, if you want to define a motion link between the elements, you can copy description, find a proper rule, let's say rack input gear output, and pass it to the second field formula in the motion link window.
Another thing which may be useful is the gears axis, which let you find quickly the exact center of gear, for example during drawing sketches. The last thing is estimation time. File used for calculating will be created right after the first OK click. It is located in the plugins directory in your Fusion 360 installation folder. New version supports backward compatibility, so if you have some files with saved parameters, they'll be read without any problems. Potential messages may be about values when they exceed ranges, nothing else. Full description, list of changes and ranges of parameters will be listed on the products page. As I mentioned, new version should be available in the store circa 2 to 3 weeks. I have all the feedback from you about improvements, but be patient. Updates and fixes in other plugins are also underway. Thank you for watching this and see you next time. Bye!